hospital is a lifesaver. Medical insurance. And it's fun. You know, I get a lot of comments that ask me, why do you only look at the prosperous big cities of China? Why don't you go see what's going on in the rural areas? Well, who says I don't go? I'm gonna leave right now. Wow! Wait a second. Where should I go? I got it. We'll let fate decide. Yunnan province, and I guess I'm going to Lanping County. Lanping County? That's where I'm going. I got a pack. Lanping County, situated on China's southwestern border, has harsh natural conditions. China defines counties with a poverty rate of over 11% as extremely impoverished counties. However, Lanping's poverty rate is 50%. 97 out of its 101 villages are impoverished. Among them, 88 are deeply impoverished. In 2018, the national average years of education was 10.5. But the figure was only 8.5 in Lanping County. Among the 2,851 Chinese counties, as many as 334 were deeply impoverished. Statistics from 1978 show that among the 963 million Chinese in the country, 770 million were impoverished. Poverty alleviation has always been a major task for the Chinese government. Many years ago, China was very poor. Actually, 40 years ago, China's the poverty headcount ratio is at about 97%. But if we don't have this poverty reduction process, we cannot imagine. At the same time, though, internationally, poverty is still a problem in many countries. When you're in poverty, you're in crisis. And we see countries trying to improve this, but it's still a much, a, a very much a work in progress. In China, the causes of poverty are complex and diverse. The scale is also large and the degree extensive. Currently, China has 14 contiguous poverty-stricken areas where issues of poverty are highly concentrated and conditions for development are poor. The impoverished individuals generally have low education levels and poor health. Moreover, the large gap in regional development, poor natural conditions in the western regions, and inadequate infrastructure make poverty elimination a formidable task. In response to the situation, China introduced ecological migration in 2000, and in the western regions alone, about 7 million farmers have migrated into other regions. We have a China that is majorly, hugely developed compared to, compared to many other countries. Now the second largest economy in the world, and like I said, still with its poverty problems. There are different causes of poverty, like diseases, like the high expenses on school tuitions, especially for the higher education tuition. It's quite high for people from poor families. Also a major disease, chronic disease, also can be dramatic impacts on a poor family. So to address these different causes of poverty, we have to have different kinds of measures combined. Despite the results of the poverty alleviation policies, due to an inadequate hematopoietic function of certain measures, the number of individuals once alleviated but sliding back into poverty is still on the rise. In response, after 2012, the Chinese government overhauled the indefinite poverty alleviation methods and launched targeted poverty alleviation policies to address the different causes Poverty alleviation was strengthened in the deeply impoverished three regions and three prefectures to focus on poverty alleviation and development. Targeting root causes is the key as success or failure hinges upon it. 
different measures have been adopted according to local conditions. Production to boost local development. Migration to relocate people to better places. Ecological conservation to facilitate tourism. Education to train local talents. Minimal allowances to meet basic needs. The public is widely mobilized to take part in poverty alleviation. E R E E R E E R E. Good morning. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, I got this beautiful view. There are high-rise buildings. This place doesn't look so poor. In recent years, the Chinese government has driven to lift its people out of poverty. Take Lanping County, for example. Since the execution of the poverty elimination plan, 49,093 county residents have been lifted out of poverty, and the farmers' incomes have also risen. By the end of 2018, permanent residents in the county's rural villages had disposable income of 6,515 yuan per capita, an increase of 2,109 yuan from 4,406 yuan in 2014. In addition, infrastructure has improved and progress has been seen in transportation, drinking water, and supply of electricity. 1,116 kilometers of rural roads have been upgraded or built, and 815,300 square meters of village roads have been hardened. Safe drinking water has been provided to 176,000 residents and 1,900 kilometers of urban rural power grids have been upgraded or built. Public service standard has been improved and 542,700 square meters of school buildings have been built, while 77,900 square meters of dilapidated buildings fixed. 130 new village clinics have been built and new achievements seen in ecological construction over 76 square kilometers of medium and low yield forests have been converted and 131,000 square kilometers of soil erosion areas controlled. Nobody but me. China invested a lot of, you know, input uh, into poverty reduction. In the past, like five years, from 2013 to 2017, China has invested a total of 30 billion yuan. It has already surpassed, you know, the the total of the past like 30 years. And uh, actually, between 1990 and 2010, China has contributed 70% uh, uh, of the total reduction of the number of the poor in the world. China is a very important contributor to the global fight against poverty. Its achievements um, is quite a record for the whole world. Over the last four decades, China has enjoyed significant results in poverty alleviation and reduction. From the end of 1978 to the end of 2018, the number of impoverished individuals dropped from 770 million to 16.6 million in China, and the poverty rate dropped from 97.5% to 1.7%. Over the past four decades, China has gone from universal poverty to regional poverty before tackling basic poverty issues. The poverty alleviation measures continue to evolve and innovate. Over the last decade, China's poverty alleviation advanced swiftly and the methods became more targeted and efficient. Between 2012 and 2018, over 80 million individuals were alleviated from poverty. That's an annual average of over 13 million individuals. The Chinese government set the goal in 2015 to fully eliminate poverty by 2020 and no single impoverished region nor an individual living in poverty shall be left behind. 
Although there's still this gap between this place and the bustling city, you can feel a change. The quality of life of these people is improving dramatically. But why? Why is this happening? There must be some kind of magical thing happening here, maybe a secret. And that's what I gotta find. The secret, because it's happening now. 